today. Well, let's jump into auction not included today. Um, let me see here. I think I want to, what I want to do is I, I have this, uh, what was it? Petroleum boiler. I think it's this tutorial thing that has the, uh, the steam, yeah, volcanic power thing. I want to, I'm going to load this up to, uh, to look at what we're going to build. Cause the first thing I want to work on today is the volcanic steam power. So, uh, I'm going to load up this map to kind of remind myself the build. So we're going to build something similar to this. Um, so from here, it's, yeah, from where this comes across, 9, 10. So it's going to be, they called this a volcanic blade. There's 10 over. We have a door. Two mesh tiles with a uh, memory toggle beneath. Got a thermo sensor with, I think is one ton of water. Two diamond tiles. Okay. I think I have this build pulled up on my other screen over here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to reference this to build this thing. But all this power is three steam turbines, which will basically be free power. Um, this thing is a... Is a... Uh, a... Uh, is a loop, is a cooling loop that uh, also probably evens out the temperature here. Okay. All right. I just want to remind myself of what this build looks like here. It's only too high, and I think it was like two tons of water in here or something like that. Okay. Let's go back to main menu here. That's one of the first things we're going to work on building today. I started working on... Uh, Sleet wheat last week, and I think I want to get pinch of pepper fruits going too. So after we get this thing built, so we just have a lot of free power, we're gonna work on trying to get another food source going. I'm thinking. All right. Oh goodness, I played a little bit last night where I was just clearing out some more biomes to prepare for our builds for the day. Prepare our builds for the day. I also last night played a little bit more Kenshi off stream just because there's a lot of like um, time uh, time intensive uh, kind of what's what's the word tedious things you you need to do in that game to to move forward. So I did a lot of, a lot of that stuff last night. All righty. Let's see. I also found out that the new last night. One of the thing I worked on, I made these new pip farms. And um, they were too hot for my arbor trees to grow, so I had to extend my cooling loop a bit. I also added a mod that makes it easier for uh, pips to, to plant their trees, so uh, I might extend that at some point. But yes, yeah, so I uh, alt -S. so last night what I did was I worked on clearing out more biome stuff over here. So I've almost cleared out most of this left side. I do need to work on... Well, that's only the bottom half of the map. <laughs> this map bigger than my last map. It's a big old map. Okay, so we have our um, volcano over here. So what I want to do is I want to build our uh, turbine setup over here. So or our uh, volcanic steam power over here. So I need to figure out how we're going to do this. So let me kind of look at, look at the build over here. I'm going to want to... Um, let's see here. So we're going to let the vault, the, let the magma out, go down and over. This will be the place where the heat is gathered. And then we have the place where the actual, um, steam will be. Okay. Let me figure out how I want to, how I want to lay out this thing. How do I want to lay out this thing? I'm going to need to... Figure this out. So I'm going to want a single space for the lava to come out. So that's going to be right here. Uh, so that'll be the, where the lava flows out. Um, actually, it might be better if I have it go down one space. So what if it goes down here and it'll go out this way? So we'll deconstruct this one and we'll deconstruct those and that'll have it That'll be how it goes out. So that'll be the lava. So it'll be too high. So we're going to do a... This needs to be all out of obsidian, that's for sure. So if it's going to go out there, we're going to need a floor here. So... 
and it's gonna if that's gonna go down here it's gonna flow it's gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine and the tenth space is where it's gonna be a mesh tile hey what's up Nietzsche how are you doing my friend it's good to see you and I'm gonna do so I think it's gonna be like this so I think lava flows ten spaces one two three four five six seven eight nine and then there's going to be a door on top of that mechanized airlock there. And again, we'll make this out of, we're going to just do steel out of everything here. Okay, and we're going to need to be able to reach all this stuff. So I'm going to need, we're doing a volcanic steam power build to start the day. Something I haven't done before. Um, okay, so I'm going to need, if I'm going to want to work on this stuff, I'm going to need to be able to get across here. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Let me count how tall this thing is from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven tall. So it's going to be I'm kind of building it backwards, too. So the lava's on that side. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. So I need I need to kind of dig out this so I can work across this area. Problem is I have a little bit of a uh, what's this thing called over here? Got a little spore kit over here. I got to get rid of. How are you doing, Nietzsche? Hope you're having a good one. How was your day going, my friend? So over here is going to be where the steam turbines are. Hey, what's up, Shogi? How are you doing, man? Uh, you guys, you won't be stuck. You can get up and around that way. Okay. 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 Good, good. Just chilling. Just chilling. That's what I'm doing. Just chilling and... Chilling like a villain, try to not kill my dupes today. Try to not kill my dupes. Okay. You know what? I might have to release the Spore Kid stuff. Um, is that going to matter with what we're doing here? I don't think it'll matter. So, you know what? Do this. I'm going to uproot this thing. We're gonna we're gonna open this up. Whoa, that Slickster! What are you doing, Slickster? You're you're flying. Okay, and we need to uproot this so it stops doing its thing. Stop! Stop bringing out your stuff there. Okay, do this so they can reach that stuff. Okay, I'm pretty sure there were two. Two mesh tiles here, and a mechanized airlock on top of that. And then it's going to be like this. And this is going to be where the lava comes out right here. Okay, how's the germs looking? Okay. Those zombie spores just spread out, so that could be bad. <laughs> We've got zombie spores in the air. Hopefully that won't matter because we're all in our Batmo suits. So hopefully that won't be a big deal. Okay. Alrighty, so this is... Let me see how... What we, we're, I'm going to get the structure of this thing set up first. So we're going to have a bottom row here. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's see. I'm going to count from the other side. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be the bottom floor of this thing. I think it's going to be too wide here, but we're going to need to have an empty space in here to build this thing. All right, got to figure out, got to figure out the build of this. So this is going to be where the lava falls down into a uh, diamond tile area. 
One, two. There's going to be one space and then two diamond tiles. So there's going to be two diamond tiles right there. Uh, which hopefully I have enough diamond for this. I should. Utilities. Uh, was it? I think it's base for diamond tiles. Diamond window tiles. Good. So one space. No. Yeah. So two of these guys, one space, then two diamond tiles. And this is going to be the floor of the thing here. And this is going to go across. Okay, so next to the two diamond tiles, we're going to have another mechanized airlock right there. And then there's going to be two metal tiles that are going to be transmitting heat which uh, I don't remember what he made these out of, but I think steel's, steel, I think, is just the best thing because I think it will just not melt and not mess up thermal conductivity or whatever. Okay, so we do this, and we do this so they can reach all that. Okay. And I got to put up on a bunch of wires and stuff behind this stuff, too. You love the big lava tank? Surely nothing could go wrong with that. <laughs> well, we're going to use this big lava tank. Uh, we're actually going to be using this to create steam power. This lava is going to heat up water to create some very hot, hot, hot stuff. So uh, let me get my automation set up behind here. So I need a, I believe that is an AND gate. Hand gate, and we're kind of building this. Uh, let's see here. So this is going to be right there. It's going to be an and gate. And next to that is going to be a couple different things, like a memory toggle and something else, I think. Uh, you know what? I think I might actually need to do some research for this. Do I not have all of these and gates and all that stuff set up? Uh, researched. I should. Uh, let me see here. Uh, buffer gate and filter gate. That's what it is. So I need a buffer gate on top. Uh, actually, I have this backwards, don't I? I think I had this backwards. If I'm doing this flip-flop from his, I need to swap these around. So let me deconstruct that guy. So it's going to be flipped around like this, where the lava is on that side. So this is going to be facing towards the lava in the wall there, like that. I'm going to make this more complicated for myself by flipping this stuff around. But you know what? That's fine. And you are currently trapped there. Good job, duplicant. Trapping yourself. Time for stupid to be stupid. Okay, so we got, uh, we released some spore, some deadly zombie spores into the air. Hopefully nobody dies from that. Hopefully, hopefully nobody dies. Famous last words. Okay, so do that. Okay, so we want a buffer gate and a filter gate. So the buffer gate is on top. It's going to be right next to this guy like this. And then we want to filter gate the opposite direction like that. Okay. Okay. And then we need our, let's see here, right next to the diamond tile, we want a place where we're going to put a one ton of water here. Actually, I need to cancel these guys. I'm going to cancel those guys and put them over one space. Maybe over two spaces here so we can reach stuff. Good morning, and I say we embrace the zombie spore. You say we embrace the zombie spore. Okay. You say, only say, hear what I want to. Is that like a Alanis Morissette song that just popped into my head from that? Okay, so we're going to put a temperature sensor in here. Automation thermo sensor, I should say. Okay, and that's gonna go. Okay, I gotta remember what's going where. So this is gonna go 
to the these guys are going to go to that one. This is going to go to oh, it's an AND gate. Doesn't matter which one it goes to. So I can go like that, and the other one is going to come from. Actually, this is slightly off. Uh, let me fix my automation here. Uh, you think that's Lisa Loeb I'm singing? Is that Lisa Loeb? Maybe it is. <laughs> in early access, it used to be that diseases were deadly if not cared for, but that was back when a high germ load was needed to get sick. Yeah. Um, let's see. So the black one goes to there, and it goes to... There. Uh, what's up, Knudy? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Okay, so the other one goes. So I need these guys to connect to this one. So that's kind of a little awkward the way I built it. It would actually be better if I did turn this back around. Turn this back around. Because I want the two white things to be connected to these guys. So, okay. I'm going to go back to what I did before. Where's this AND gate? Deconstruct it. And cancel all these wires for now. Uh, then they changed from the immune system, system, immune system system to an exposure system where there's a chance of getting sick when exposed, but making the actual sickness more of an inconvenience than a killer. Yeah. I've heard that um, uh, slime lung used to be a big deal. Now it's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure that zombie spores are a big deal. The thing is, from what I've seen, as long as you have, um, as long as you have Atmos suits, I don't think it's going to be an issue. So I don't think that will be anything we'll have to worry about, hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to want to turn this AND gate. Turn this AND around. So we're going to do it this way. The buffer gate's going to go into it. So I think I actually want to do it this way yes i want to do it this way so this is backwards from what i did so i just i didn't do it backwards the correct backwards way i did it the wrong backwards way we're doing a very pretty complicated build uh that we haven't done before called a uh, volcanic volcanic steam turbine volcanic steam power is what we're working on and gates deconstruct. I thought I told you to do that. Apparently not. Once in the old system, you accidentally got most of my dupes sick with slime lung while working on a spawn. You were able to recover, but it wasn't fun. Well, hopefully I'm going to avoid that. I think what we're actually going to do is if I turn this, if I'm doing this the right way, it'll be like this. It'll be like this. And then we're going to have an AND gate like this. And then our automation wire, this guy, will lead to those two things. There we go. Now I've got this backwards correct. And it's going to be like this. And like that. So that should be the automation setup. I'm going to need to get water into this little place, though. How am I going to get water into this little slot? I guess I could put a, a vent here and just dump water in there. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. But I'm not going to worry about that yet. Because um, now I should be able to close this off. Okay, I like that. Spores are a big deal because it's a huge stat penalty that lasts for many cycles. Okay. Well, let's, again, hope I'm avoiding that happening. <laughs> let's hope that that is not going to be something that I'm actually going to let happen to us. Okay. This is where the lava blade's going to come out. It's going to come out there. Um, okay. And so this, the steam actual turbines are going to be over here. We're going to do that. Then we're going to have a room with the steam turbines on top of here. 
Slimeline can still kill indirectly by making the dupe suffocate faster. Oh, yikes. Okay. That's some scary stuff, man. Some scary stuff. Um, let's see here. Does it matter what type of water? Yeah, I need it to be all one type of water in here because if there's uh, multiple types of water, they will not all fit in there. So I think I have some clean water coming out. Haha, -ha, I got clean water right here I can use. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is... I do want to get this water in there. So let me do... Um, I want to get a full kilo of water in there. So I'm going to deconstruct that. I'm going to put a vent there. And I'm going to do liquid pipes. That's going to go across there and bring us some water for this. And I can use this to pump the water into my steam room as well. So I'm going to do that. Connect there. Okay. Okay. And this, I'm hoping this amount of lava will last us a long time. Somebody had said that I think uh, minor volcanoes don't give you enough lava to run something. I don't know if that'll be the case for what we're building here because this thing is, um, this thing is a, uh, you know, I feel like this amount of lava should last us a long time. You started working on an Oni FTL ship, by the way. Nice. Nice. I'm very curious to see what that looks like. Okay, we're going to do a liquid vent right here. Once they deconstruct that thing, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. The AND gate is in the way. All right, well, I can replace the end gate after we get the water in place here. Because I know what that's going to be like. Well, volcanoes work best when throwing in sacrifices. <laughs> You've been watching Joe versus the Volcano again, haven't you? There's an old school movie. That was like, I think that was like Tom Hanks' breakout movie. Joe versus the Volcano. I think that was like, I think I watched that many, many years ago. I think it was him and... Meg Ryan for the first time or something? Or Shogi? Shogi probably knows that reference. Uh, the only issue is that rockets are long and slender, so Steve Steve will be a Steve. Okay, that's fine. Steve will be a Steve. Oh, there's automation there, though. Uh, the automation wire is going to just close it. So uh, if I do this, will it open? Nope, so i got to deconstruct the wire there. Damn. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do that. Here's Meg Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Definitely an old school movie there. On your first year's playthrough, you had a minor volcano next to my base. You turned it into a petroleum generator and it had more than enough. Nice. All right. So I want exactly, I want this to be exactly full. So um, keep an eye on this. This will fill up quickly. And then we shut this off and this will overflow a little bit, which is fine because there's just water down there. That won't be a big deal. But let me just, as soon as this is full, shut it off. It was Meg Ryan, but he had hits before that. Big Turner and Hooch and your favorite, the Burbs. Oh, that was before Joe the Volcano? Joe versus the Volcano? Okay, that's my bad. I thought, um, thought Joe versus the Volcano was before all those. My bad. Okay, so liquid vent deconstruct. That's my bad. Maybe that's your problem. You have a brain cloud. A brain cloud, huh? Okay, and we do insulated tile here again. And then we do automation. Get my AND gate back in place. So my AND gate was like this. And then the automation wire was there. Okay, so that's set up. Beautiful. He did the Money Pit, which is a classic. Yeah, I remember that one. I, I remember that I never watched that one. I think I saw, like, scenes from that one, but never actually watched it. Your current playthrough, you have a copper volcano, but you think that's it? 
Yeah, um, I have a an iron volcano on this playthrough, but I don't have anything else. Okay, uh, at least that, I mean, I have this volcano, a minor volcano, a minor and an iron volcano are the only volcanoes I have on this one. At least that I found so far. Okay, um, I think I'm messing up one thing though. So this is on that side. There needs to be a thermo, a, uh, a temp shift plate there. Now, my issue with temp shift plates is I don't have that much diamond. So I don't know, I don't think I'm going to be able to use, use all the temp shift plates here. But I'm definitely going to use diamond for the, no, that's not right. There should be a door here. I'm going to be using um, diamond for the window tiles for this. And Splash, everyone loves Splash. You know, I never saw Splash, and I saw uh, rev uh, some video on YouTube recently about how Splash was... Somebody watched Splash again for the first time in many, many years and was, like, surprised about how horny everybody was in that movie or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> something crazy. Okay, so plumbing. So there's going to be a liquid vent right here. There's going to be a thermo sensor right below it. And then there's going to be automation wire between. Uh, is that right? That is not right. Cancel that. Uh, Your other colony had like two or three uh, additional magma volcanoes. Wow. It's a lot of magma volcanoes. So it's going to be there. And it's going to be a liquid vent here that looks right and then the automation wire is going to be from the door to the atmo sensor there okay hey what's up green tea how are you doing uh, a leaky oil fissure that you turn to do a heat source for steam for steam rockets nice Okay, is it going to be okay that there's water here below this door? Yeah, it doesn't matter because this is going to be filled in with insulated tile right here. Okay. We're kind of putting the guts and the mechanics in this thing before I build the actual structure, which will hopefully be okay. So that means this is going to be the room with the steam in it right here. So let me let them finish building that stuff. Then I'm going to build the floor, and then we can walk up into here, into all the space. Zombie spores. Okay. I finally figured out what the flashing damage overheated thing is last night. Every time this steam vent erupts, it puts out very hot steam. And what happens is this conveyor loader that's right next to it made of steel gets really hot for just a second. I don't think it actually takes damage, but that damage overheated thing pops up very briefly. So... Um, I'm not sure if he, these things were powered, if these doors were powered. I can't, I'm not sure. I think I could put power lines in later if I need to. For now, I'm not going to power these guys. Uh, you got Kazak yesterday and had an awesome boarding run until you pulled a stuplicant and teleported out into a vented ship. Yikes. Uh, you gotta hate it when you pull the stuplicant. Okay, so, let me figure out where my steam turbines are going to be so I can get this placement right so over the diamond tile one space is going to be where it is and how is that lined up with so the, this is going to be one space between this it's going to be floor above this and then the steam turbines so it's going to be like okay i can't place it yet uh because the ladders are probably in the way yeah okay i need to start getting these ladders out of the way I do them one space at a time like that. They should be able to deconstruct those. Do these one at a time. Okay, there. I have to do it one at a time or else they're going to make themselves stuck because they're stupid. There we go. Okay, so now I can place my steam turbines. And so there's going to be a block above it. And 
So it should be like this, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, and I probably want to go backwards on this. So yeah, that, that guy, that guy, and that guy. So we're going to have three steam turbines there. And this is going to be the uh, insulated tile. To go above the door to there. Then there's going to be an empty space there with a um, temp shift plate on it. So for now, let me get a ladder so they can reach this stuff. Magma power plant, that's the plan. We're going to use uh, volcanic steam power for the first time, which I've never done before. So that is the plan, Stan. Uh, that is the plan for now, Stan. Okay. I've never done this, so uh, I'm using Francis John's build like I do for most of my new builds. Never done it before, so using a a, uh, a build that I'm kind of copying, basically. Okay, so there's going to be a temp shift plate there. I think for this one I will do a diamond temp shift plate, even though those are expensive. What is that, utility? I might have enough diamond now to do all these as diamond. Uh, 800, man, I'm not sure. Not sure. I probably will do inside of here not do diamond temp shift plates because they're so expensive. Those work nicely. You've done a few of those. Nice, yeah. They're, they give a lot of power if you get them running to the right level and all that. So you were just catching up on uh, Francis John's series. Finally done. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be insulated tile here, and then there'll be two more there. Um, so I think that's all right. Uh, what's supposed to be there, though? Is that another insulated tile? I actually have Francis John's video pulled up right now, so I'm like, using it to reference. And the reference is that that is a, an insulated tile right there. So that's what I want to do. Okay. So I had the... Uh, okay, so I'm just going to keep this keep this pulled up so I can have a, have a good, good resource for this thing. Okay, so I can now build this all the way across to right there. And then we're going to have our thermo aqua tuner which is a utility thermo aqua tuner. Um, I think, uh, let's see here. I need to have the what the piping looks like for this pulled up. I think, uh, I think it just, uh, I think it comes in right here and then goes out and cools the stuff. I think something like that's about right. My pulling a vacuum afterwards, yes. Well, if I put water in this room, I believe if I just pump water in this room, that will create a vacuum, right? If we fill this up, one tile full of water on the bottom, and then once it gets to the second tile, carbon dioxide will just be gone. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I need two liquids to do it that way? Okay, I could do that. Um, if I fill it in with one full layer of regular water and then do polluted water on top, that'll do what we need to do. That, I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. So I think I'm going to cancel this one because I'm going to pour. I'm going to pour the uh, the layer of polluted water on top. I know that's what Francis John has done on uh, other. Way, uh, other uh, builds similar to this. Okay, so I'm going to need to get up here like this. Let's do that. Um, what I will need to do is get the constr construction on the inside of this done before I do that. So, uh, let me see here. Below this diamond tile is going to be a temp shift plate. And it's going to be like that. like that, and then we'll fill that in after we get all the guts of this thing put in. 
You're just on lunch break playing some FTL thinking about Oni tonight. <laughs> hey, and we created a vacuum there, which is, uh, I think, good. I think I need to have a vacuum there, so I think I accidentally created the right thing there. Since this is a single temp shift plate, I will do a single diamond temp shift plate right here. But I will do um, probably granite. Granite is the is the second best temp shift plate. Is that right? Uh, what did I what did I do? I think I think it was granite that we did all here, right? Granite temp shift plates. Unreachable build. It'll be reachable once you can get across here. I'm pretty sure, right? That's diagonal. Why can't they reach that? Do every other diamond a granite? Maybe. Why does that say unreachable? They should be able to reach that down diagonal. Can I not do that with temp shift plates? I'm confused why that's unreachable. Uh, they changed something? Well, did they make it so you can't reach diagonally anymore? I hope that means this build still works, because it temperature is supposed to uh, try from the bottom. Okay, let's try that. If they can reach it from there, maybe. Um, I feel like if you can't reach it down diagonal, though, you might not be able to reach it up diagonal. I don't know. Let's see if they make this ladder. If they stand on that, if they can reach it. Um, okay, so temp shift plates in here. Uh, so I think that we want to do, we'll do a diamond touching a diamond here. So it'll be diamond here. I don't even think I have enough for every other be diamond, so I think I'm just going to have to do granite for the rest of them. Which should be fine. So it's going to be granite all the way across. But I don't want it touching the wall. So I think it's going to be right there, I believe, is what we're going to want. Yeah, it still says unreachable right there. We've also noticed that sometimes things are unreachable, but if you cancel and replace, they are. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to lose the vacuum in here. Is it? Does this need to be a vacuum? I don't know if this needs to be a vacuum or not in here. It's just transferring the temperature like this. I don't know if that matters. I'm gonna, uh, you know what? Actually, if I, if I deconstruct this, it'll still stay a vacuum. They can build it, then I can fill it back in, and that should still be fine. There we go. Now it's reachable, still a vacuum, because of this lovely water. Lovely water making things unreachable. Water strats. Gotta love them. Water strats. Oh, that's unreachable, though. Uh, so I think if I do that, they can get down there and reach that one. Now that's reachable. Good. Okay, and I believe that's supposed to be open. Yeah, because that's where the lava is going to fall down into and get dumped into. So hopefully that still works. I don't know if that needs to be a vacuum or not, though. Hmm. Does that need to be a vacuum? Um. Because if it needs to be a vacuum, this little room, this. So basically, what happens is the lava is going to come across here. This door is going to open when the automation tells it to. When lava drops through mesh tiles and it solidifies, it gets pushed out to the side. So the little igneous rocks is going to get pushed down there and drop there and heat this whole system up. So you're thinking this needs to be a vacuum, huh? All from lava needs to be a vacuum. So this needs to be a vacuum too. Okay. So uh, that'll be... I can get rid of... I can make that be a vacuum. Um, if I do... If I pour some water in there... Um... Let's see, how can I make this a vacuum? If I... 
I think if, if I can do diagonal building strats, I can do this pretty easily. Just don't know if I'll be able to do diagonal building strats or not. It didn't let me do... I, you know what? I think I've had an issue with that with temp shift plates before. I think I'll be able to do this. I think temp shift plates, for whatever reason, you like background buildings, I don't think you could do... Can't build diagonally. So, since there's a temp shift plate, that actually means I don't know if this will work. I have gases behind those mesh tiles. So you're saying I need to make this be a uh, vacuum too, huh? Okay. Um... All right, let's see. How can I vacuum this out? Because uh, this this is going to have to be all vacuum too. Um, but I'm going to need to be able to get in and out of there to break stuff up. So how do I do that? So I need to get this all vacuumed out. I mean, I can just use a, a pump, but I need to seal it off and be able to get in there to unseal it when I'm ready to go. And because I have a... I should probably do a little liquid lock to the side here, and that should let us do it. So if I do something like this. Um, see the area around it so you have a big area of vacuum outside it to work from? Uh, let, me, let me think here. Let me think. Oh, my God. Come on, save thing. Cancel that. Let me think here. I think I want to get down and around over into here. This area doesn't need to be uh, vacuumed off. The steam turbine area doesn't need to be. And I'm gonna I'm gonna vacuum this out by pouring liquid in. That's a vacuum, so I don't have to worry about this one. It's just this area right here I need to vacuum out. This area, this area. So, and even this little area. Okay, let me deconstruct that. Let me make the wall here. So I seal this area off. This is going to be the area from, uh, what is that one, two spaces. So this right here is going to be walled off. So that'll wall this all off. So if I can get into here and vacuum this out, that will be what I need to do. And so in order to do that, uh, let me actually put... That there above the door should be all kind of walled off there. Yes. Just give me like that. So I just need to make a liquid lock here and then pump everything out of this area and that should work. So let me do that. So liquid lock would be, um, so that's the bottom space there, 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 and then plumbing there. And I get, we'll do this out of insulated tile just to make sure. There. And I block that off. And this should be all liquid locked off. I believe that will work. And I just vacuum this, this area out, and that should fix it, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Little a little funky to do it this way. Hey, what's up, live action pixel? How are you doing? It's going pretty well. We're working on a what is this thing called? A volcanic steam power turbine build thingy. Okay. So we want this to be water auto bottle seven. Copy there. So this will create a liquid lock, and then we're gonna want to get a um Ventilation, a couple gas pumps in here. Just like one here, and I'll do one up here, too. 
You believe that's the technical name, yes? How am I finding Arbor yet? Not attempted that one yet. Uh, it's been pretty challenging for sure. It's definitely been pretty challenging. Um, the lack of... Um, I need power over here, don't I? What's been the biggest challenge? The lack of gold. No gold on the map made, uh, made it kind of basically required to get to steam pretty quickly. Oh, great. I didn't want it to do that, but that's fine. Okay, so let me uh, disable auto bottle on that one. Because if we get it in this one now, it should be good. Because that's, that's liquid locked. Okay, it's just, le it's, it's just leaking water. No big deal. A lack of gold was what I probably had the biggest challenge with. Okay, so I'm going to need to get... We're going to need to connect our power line to this anyway, because this is going to be providing power. So how am I going to do that? I think the easiest way is going to have this go across, down, and over to here. I think that's going to be the easiest way to connect this. So let's go ahead and do heavy watt wire there. And we'll have this go like this. And that'll plug into our power grid right there. On your Oceana save, you feel like you have plenty of water and power, but limited metals. Yeah, I've, I've heard that Oceana can be problematic that way. Does this enable auto bottle? It is, and it's for water, right? Okay. All right, and so probably what I want to do to get power down here is do just a bit of a quick little power transformer. Um, which that would be wrong. And this is this is temporary. <laughs> My famous words. Uh, this is temporary. This is all temporary. There we go. Oh, Boria is next on your list after, um, oh, you just dived into a geoactive Badlands map. Looking forward to it. And Arborea is next on your list. Nice. Uh, that's why you're exploiting the Copper Volcano on your Oceana save. Yeah. Sounds like something you'd need to do on a map like that. I can actually start pumping this out now, even though this liquid lock's not completed. Um, because that is blocked off. But I want that to be a more complete liquid lock. Um, however, I can get this guy there, high pressure gas vent. That'll start pumping stuff out of there. This is definitely a long commute for them because I have a drop off here, but then they got to go down, over, up, around. Definitely not a, this is, which is fine. Cause they're not going to have to work on after this is all built. This is something I could just turn on and leave. So it should be no issue that uh, it's such a long commute for working on all this stuff. Uh, you could also get your dupes to scour the surface. Playing rhyme with your max settings, no care packs. This is hard. <laughs> okay. All right, so we want to vacuum this area out. Which, there's not a ton of gases in here. This should take too long. Um, what I will do is fill that in. Is this going to pull stuff out of here? This door being closed means this is not going to vacuum out. So I think I actually need this airlock to be deconstructed for right now. Otherwise, it won't pull gases out of here. So this should pull gases out of this area, if I'm not mistaken, once this door's out of the way. Because I want to vacuum out all this stuff. Okay. Yeah, so it's slowly going down there, going down there, going down here. Perfect. Beautiful. So this, this will do what I need it to do. Still waiting for them to finish putting some water here. Nine, maybe? Can I get this once, maybe? Um, 
Can you ask an FTL question? Of course you can. Absolutely. Feel free. Power. I'm going to plug these guys in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you know what? To power this thing, I would rather just plug it in with a heavy watt wire, heavy watt joint plate. So I'm probably going to do that. So since that's my plan, what I will do is have um, heavy watt joint plate there, because that's going to be the wall, and there's going to be one there. And it'll be like that. And like that and that'll plug in once we're all good to go okay what do you prioritize upgrading early on mantis a uh, mantis a starts with a small bomb and a basic laser um i like to upgrade my boarding honestly because i just like boarding so um but getting getting early weapons can be good too to su supplement but um like, I almost always will get level 2 shields early. Okay, that's going to finish up pretty quickly. Uh, let's get our piping here. Okay, so how's this going to work? Um, basically, we want this to be... Uh, I actually might want to turn this around. Because I want to... Let me, let me get... Because there's going to be a cooling loop here. And, oh yeah, and there needs to be a temperature sensor. So it's going to be plumbing, liquid, liquid pipe thermo sensor here. And that's going to be connected with this guy. And then, so that'll be an insulated pipe going in and past it. If it has uh, excess, and then this is going to be radiant liquid pipes. I think I can use whatever I want here. Uh, so this is going to go. I think the setup is something like this, just to cool these guys down. And then insulated pipe go out. Uh, there, liquid bridge, like that, and then insulated pipe up to there. And I believe that's what we'll need for the loop, and then we'll pour this guy out into there. We'll get that set up in a bit. Is there a plan for the day, 10 Penny Candy? Yeah, we're playing this all day. <laughs> we play this game all day, and... Um, I have many plans on what I'm going to be working on in this game. I don't know why they're not delivering water here. This lock is not amazing, but it's working. I don't know why they are not doing this. Disable. It's enabled. Do I have access to water somewhere? Because they have to bring it all the way from here. Okay. Uh, if you're wondering if I'm playing uh, FTL today, the answer is definitely not. I'm not playing FTL today. Today is not an FTL day. Next FTL day will be on Thursday, if that's what you're wondering. Okay, and then I believe um, we just have these guys pour out to here. Um, so this is going to be something like... Uh, like this. That guy will go down and we'll bridge to there. And like that, I believe is what we'll do. This new FTL patch looks great. Also, what's up? Hey, what's up, Lego Pirate? <laughs> new FTL patch looks so good. Okay, because I want to get everything in here done, because then I can seal it off and start uh, getting the water in there for what we want. Got to remember how much water. I think it was like two tons of water that uh, was dumped into here, if I remember correctly. 
if I remember correctly. I wonder if I need this liquid vent. Okay, that's steel, that's steel, that's steel. Okay, I think we have everything as steel since it's going to get pretty hot in here. Okay. How are we doing on vacuum in here? Uh, little bits of carbon dioxide. We're slowly vacuuming it out. That'll be, be done fairly soon. It's been a while since you've seen me play this. Though you were away from Twitch a while due to family obligations. Yeah, uh, I've been playing every Tuesday and Thursday, but um, yeah, it's been, uh, we. I've been having a good time with it. All right, so what I could do is I could actually have this supply water in here. I think that might be, since that's clean water, I think I can, will I be able to reach that if I go across here? Uh, I think we'll have to deconstruct some stuff, but that's probably going to be the easiest way to get water in here. So let me do that. So we're going to go like that to there. And I guess I need to do it like this for it to connect. What kind of pipe is that? Insulated pipe. There we go. No, insulated pipe. There. Okay. Will they be able to reach? So only that one's unreachable. So if I could deconstruct that, they'll be able to reach that. Okay. How we're doing? Vacuum. Almost a vacuum. Almost. Almost a vacuum. Been a while. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I think I can... Do I need to get in here anymore? We've got the piping set up. We've got power connected there. Let me look inside here. I think... I think inside here is done. So I believe I am good to do... Maybe a lot joint plate there. And an insulated tile there. I think I'm good to do that. The doors there don't have powers as desired. Um, I can't see if he powered them in his build. Can't I just big a, dig a pit for the carbon dioxide? What? That's in your base you can. I'm not in my base. No, actually, I don't think I can do this yet. I think I might actually want to. I think you might be right. I think I might need to power these things. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of wiring he did, though, for that. Because these things take 120 watts. What I might need to do is actually do a large power transformer. And uh, use... Um, how much can conductive wire do? I think I think I do need this for that, but I think I might need to do a... Well, I guess I can use, you know, I could probably use this power transformer to power these two doors. I think that would actually be fine. If I leave that thing on. I think we'll go like that, and they can't reach that, so I'm going to have to do something to reach that stuff. I could put a large transformer in the steam room made from steel. I think this will be fine. I'm going to have to get up into here. Since this water here is kind of keeping this vacuum, that's actually pretty useful. I think I'll have to deconstruct this one metal tile. And then that'll let us reach all this. And I think it's just those... I think there's uh, the one door there, so that one will probably need to be powered too. You are now chat's version of the colony management list. Critters are starving. Yes. I know, but uh, every time it's telling me that, it's actually for, um, I'll show you what critters it's, it's telling me that about. It's uh, poke shells that I don't care about. I know, sounds bad, but um, these poke shells over here, I am, um, what's the word? I am starve ranching them or whatever. Um, and even these guys, I, they eat the polluted dirt. But um, I just don't have enough polluted dirt for them. But 
This is and this is just to get extra lime for steel, so it's not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Okay, once they build that, then we can fill this back in. But yes, people love to be my my reminder. <laughs> reminder of things I'm forgetting to do. Okay. All right, we should be becoming a vacuum in here soon, right? Um, crap. It's flowing in here now, isn't it? I think there's little bits of carbon dioxide getting back in here because this water that was here is gone. So, well, this water is here, so it should still be blocking it off. Actually, should be fine, but I'd, I'd like this lock to be a little bit tighter here. Oh, oh, I connected this already. I don't want this to connect yet. Whoops, I'm just filling this place with water right now. Um, but I think, now that I got this, these powered, I think I'm good to close this off now. Problem is, this is going to leak heat through this joint plate, I think. So that's something I only worry about doing it this way. Like, I think I might need to do a large power transformer. And you know what? You're right. So I could put a large power transformer. Well, if I put it in here, that means I... If I put a large power transformer, that means there's going to be a heavy watt joint plate somewhere. And that heavy watt joint plate will leak heat. And we don't want this room to leak any heat. Because if it leaks heat, that's less efficient for the steam turbines to work, I believe. So I think what I actually want to do is get rid of that. I think I want to do a large power transformer. There. There, and then conductive wire. Whoops. Deconstruct those two wires. I'm missing insulated tile next to the mesh tile. I know. I know. I had to get rid of that for to get in here to work on something. I'm going to replace it once I can. Uh, I'm still waiting for that room to finish becoming a vacuum, though. Okay. I need to get rid of those two wires there. I need this thing to finish vacuum vacuuming out this room. Okay, so this this is a tight airlock here, so I can disable auto bottle. Doesn't look that great, but this doesn't have to be permanent because I'm going to close this off once I'm vacuumed out here. I do want to mop that up though; that could cause an issue. I don't want steam in there. Why is the water red over yonder? <laughs> this is lava. It's magma. <laughs> Why do you have red water? That would be liquid hot magma, which is the whole reason we're able to do this build. Because the magma is going to heat up the water and turn it to steam. And that steam is going to provide us power. That is the whole purpose of this build. Yum, your favorite. I love liquid hot magma. Tastes delicious. Okay. Uh, what's all this? There's this water coming. No, stop. I told you to disable. No, I told you to... Damn it. Disable. Okay. Well, that's definitely a good water lock now. Okay, I'm going to have to do that to mop that up, I believe. Oh, cancel. All right, there we go. Uh, move that stuff out of there. Okay, this should be... It should be a... Oh, crap! How did there get water down there? Damn it. Okay. I can crawl down and mop that up. It flew through... It flew through... It flowed through the mesh tiles there. Okay. All right, so I should be good to actually close this off now. I got that powered... I got uh, those doors powered. Okay. Now there's water where the magma should be. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And to mop this up, then we'll pick that up. We don't want any water in here. It'll flash to steam when the magma comes in, and that's not that's what we would want to not happen. Okay. 
Water sweep. There we go. Water sweep. Actually, let's sweep that. Uh, what else we got there? Okay, so these were the... Now, after they sweep those, I can put the mesh tiles back in place. Uh, back in place. This is a pretty complicated build, so I want to be very particular that I get it all done correctly. Add the insulated tile top of that ship, tip shift plate before building those mesh tiles. Ah, good call. Good call. Right there, I do need that. You're right. Good call. Good eye. Thank you for that reminder. I want him to get rid of that water first, though, because if water's sitting there, it'll turn to steam and screw things up. Let me raise the priority, maybe. Water storage unavailable. No, there's, there's storage available. Okay. So I'm going to have to get a layer of polluted water on top of this. I think I'm going to do that just with um, uh, these guys' bottle emptiers for that. There it is. Okay, so now insulated tile there. Okay. And then after that's done, we'll do the two mesh tiles here. And then we'll be almost done. Uh, wait, I can't do that yet because this is not a vacuum. I can't do that until there's a vacuum. Hurry up and vacuum this out, man. Should be getting close. Micro or MCG, like micrograms, MG. Uh, okay, I think I can help this out if I do deconstruct that. Deconstruct that ladder. We're gonna do stuff that will push the water, push the stuff into here. Push the carbon dioxide closer to the. Uh, pump yeah because this needs to be a this needs to be a these all be a vacuum so i can do this some zombie spores in the co2 i know i know it's because there was a spore kid down here that shouldn't matter we're all in our atmos suits so hopefully it won't be an issue okay, beautiful Besides, we're pumping it all out here. So it'll be all out here. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so... Um, so I wanted two tons of water in here. Oh, shovel eggs, huh? Okay, shovel eggs, they will crack, right? I don't want shovels to hatch right now. Make sure that shovels are on here. Shovels, yes, they'll crack those. Good. Okay. Um, so, uh, a ton is, what, a thousand kilograms? So if I want two tons of water in here, and this is 15 wide, so 15 wide, I'm trying to figure out how much water I'm going to need in here. So how much do I want in each space if it's going to be two tons? So two tons, 2,000 divided by 15 is what I want to know. Get my thing here. Calculator, 2,000 divided by 15. So I want 133 kilograms in each tile is what I want here. 133 kilograms. Or a little less because we're going to do polluted water on top. If there's a little over two tons of water, hopefully that won't cause an issue. Okay, a little bit of stuff there. This is all a vacuum. Okay, that's a vacuum. Good. There's only a little bit of stuff left over there, so I can now do this. Because that should stay a vacuum now. Uh, carbon dioxide. This should slowly dissipate. And I think I can help it by putting one more pump right here to get that last little bit out, most likely. That's a vacuum. Very nice. So now we can put our mesh tiles back in place here. Do one at a time because I think there's steel. Is there steel on that tile? Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, there might not be. But I think I have to do these one at a time anyway. Okay, and then that one there. And we're going to do 
that. Uh, actually, before I do that, let me actually put the power line in the wall because I'm sure we're going to want to have all these powered. So we'll do that. And then we'll put the door there. How does I get more carbon dioxide in here? I feel like we have more carbon. Is there carbon dioxide seeping through here? This is a tight lock, right? Damn it, I swear. Let me do this. I want to make sure if water flows down in here, I want to make sure it does not go down here. We'll have to sweep it again. Ugh, this is a pain. Okay. But this is also, again, a very complicated build that we need to get exactly right the first time. Because fixing it will be a real pain. Enable auto bottle. So let's make sure we get this filled up here. So there's 197 grams. So we want 133 kilograms or so along the bottom. And then we're, what we're going to do is... Um, actually, don't want this excess water going in there. So I'm going to mop that up right now so that we don't accidentally put that in there. Okay. A couple more deliveries, and this will be for sure a tight lock here. Get it right. Get it tight. Okay. And then, um, so what I will do, let me go ahead and put the bottle emptiers where I want them. So I'm going to want right, one right there, one right there. Something like that. These will be polluted, polluted water things that we'll dump in once we have uh, the layer of clean water we have in there that we want. Okay. Almost done. Almost there. I think this room being filled with carbon dioxide won't matter. I don't think that's going to be an issue. These are all made of steel anyway. Okay. Yeah, one more delivery should do this. Should be good there. Okay, so let's start filling this up. So we can do that by just connecting this. So that'll bring clean water over. That'll bring clean water over. Get to about 133 kilograms per thing here. You think FJ filled that room with H2? Talking about this room? Hydrogen? On the uh, build that I'm looking at, it just had oxygen in it. It's not that big a deal. Um, because it's going to, it's going to, this thermal aqua tuner is going to give it plenty of cooling. Uh, maybe, maybe I will. That's, it's not a, it's only to prevent overheating. So it's not a huge, not a huge deal in my opinion. Okay, so I want this furthest one. To do its thing. Ooh, are we a, are we a vacuum? Still not quite. 133 kilograms what we're looking at here. One cycle off 700. Oh man, almost a GG cookie time for that. How much is over here? 59. 68 over here. Okay. Let me disconnect it for a bit. To see what this evens out at. Oh. We are a tight vacuum. Beautiful. So let's disable, deconstruct this guy, 
deconstruct this guy. Complete vacuum in there. Beautiful. Only took us a year, but we got there. Okay, so that's uh, about a hundred. It's about a hundred. So if, if I do like 33 kilograms of uh, polluted water on top of there, I think this will work. So what I'm going to do is deconstruct there, 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 there. Uh, let me say before I do all this, because we're looking pretty good here. And I think we're just about set. And I don't want to screw up something right here at the end. If I encounter a red water geyser early game, what's the easiest way to contain it? <laughs> Magma? If if you turn if you run into if you're talking about a minor volcano, it's pretty hard. You need to build some big tank around it with a water or a, with a liquid lock to contain it and you want it to be all vacuumed out. I mean, I don't know that I'm the best person to tell you the best way to do this. Polluted water, auto bottle nine, copy settings, there. Um, there's there's a bottle of something here, isn't there? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you need you need steel to tame volcanoes. So wall it off. Don't try to mess with it early game, is what I would say. I wonder if it'll be faster if I have a ladder up here. We'll give them that option if that will help them get back and forth quicker. Oh, damn it! I thought I told you to disable. Okay, that's fine. It's fine because this is still still a thing. It's fine. Okay. There's some hot iron ore there. Oh, and I can. Uh... Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. Should be now good to do our mechanized airlock made of steel right there. And. An insulated tile right next to it, right there. And that'll be just about good to go in there. Okay. And this room should actually be ready once I do that. I do need to get the settings for the buffer gate and the filter gate. I wonder if you put that in his list here. If I need to look at the video. 925 for automation reference. Okay. So I can get my settings on that. I want to look at the numbers he put. Buffer gate 10 seconds, I believe is what he says. Buffer gate 10. Okay, uh, have they started doing polluted water? Damn it, the polluted water moved it over. Why did it do that? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, see, this is what I was worried about was going to happen. Somehow screw that up. I think I might need more water in each place. Why did it? Why did it move the water over? Maybe I need to do it over the second place. Um, can I can I connect this back? Okay, let me connect this uh, back here. Because I need the polluted water. So I wonder if the clean water will go on top of it or what will happen here. Hey, what's up, Binaman? How are you doing? It's 0.5 in one second, as you call. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check in a sec. Work on this. Okay, that, that, that's good. Okay. Alright, so polluted water on the bottom is fine. It keeps... The polluted water keeps pushing the clean water over. That's not how this is supposed to work, right? Or are you supposed to do polluted water on the bottom, clean water on the top? Maybe I'm doing this backwards. Frickin' hell. Oh, God. 
Did I screw all this up? I thought you could do polluted water on top of the cleaner water, but you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it needs to be the polluted water on the bottom. Well, crap. Um, is there any way to still make this work? If I just, maybe if I plug in my vent to uh, polluted water, just, I wonder if that would push all the clean water on top of it, maybe. Do I have salt water? I do have, um, yes, I got salt water. Will salt water sit on top of it? Uh, okay, let's do that. So salt water. Copy. Let's try that. Salt is heavier than polluted water. Well, it's not heavier than the clean water. So if I... If this might mix up a bunch of waters, however, if it just fills in all these spaces so that there's no carbon dioxide in here, that's all I care about. We already have enough water in here. Printables are available. Okay, so it is pushing it over. Uh, it's kind of working. Okay. Okay, so we're basically mixing a bunch of waters until it does what we want it to do, I guess. Oh, man. Uh, I... So this one's... Let me see here. Let me see here. Will I be able to make this work? If I do... Um... They're very, putting very small amounts in there, apparently. Now that there's salt water, if I now do clean water on top, maybe that will do it. I'm just, like, piling a bunch of water in here. Probably should get it, make a hole for the water, get it out, and clean with liquid and fill it in the liquid heavier first. Yeah, maybe I should do it that way. Okay, let me do let me do this. Let's just let's just clean this all out and start over because I've kind of screwed it up, I think. Buffer is one second, filter five second. Buffer one second, filter. Buffer is one, filter is 0.5. Okay, cool. Thank you for those settings. All right, so if we drain this out, like right here, I need to climb up and like mop it out. Mistakes are made to learn. <laughs> but I don't want to make mistakes. You're right, you're right. This is a learning opportunity. What a great learning opportunity. What have we learned? I'm stupid. Okay, not, not super useful, but okay. Okay. Um, Let's see here. So that'll all flow out of there. Um, let me just, I think the quickest way to do this will just be to me do this and then mop all this up. And I think the easiest way will actually be if I just pump in salt water first and then clean water. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do this. Uh, as long as you don't cook your entire base, mistakes are fine. That's right. So far we haven't done that. Knock on wood. <laughs> And it's going to get hot in here. I guess this water sitting here is not a huge deal, but let's go ahead and uh, get rid of it anyway. Uh, I'll go, I don't have storage available for salt water. I actually need to have that available. So if I do... Um, mesh tile and... No, cancel that. If I do one like right here and here, I'll have a place for that. Natural gas can be burned at least. That's right. Hey, what's up, Wambabola? As long as you don't fill your base with natural gas or sour gas. Ah, you just, yeah, you can totally burn it. I'm sure it's fine. It's perfectly healthy to do that. Okay. And I'm going to make this be a place where I can deliver salt water. And then we're going to pump this salt water out. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to need to...
do this and I can pull off of that line. Okay. And this is going to be for salt water. I think I'm going to do... Do I need sweep only? Nah. Okay, so now that'll, that'll be... There's a place to deliver all this stuff. Perfect. Okay, so what we want to do is... Do this water line to go down here. So... We're going to get our layer of salt water on the bottom, and then we'll do the clean water. And I'm going to need to do... That's going to drain a bunch of water here. Is that going to be an issue? Eh, no, there's just water all over the bottom of this. It's fine. It's fine. And plumbing... There, and we'll be able to connect it when we need to. And we're going to disconnect this guy first so we can get our layer of salt water. And then we'll deliver the clean water using the bottle emptiers, I think will be the better way to do it. What am I making? Uh, we are making a uh, volcano-powered steam power system. A volcanic steam power build is what we're doing. So this stuff's just going to drip down here, and we just have kind of a place where there's water, and it becomes steam, and, you know, whatever. Okay. I have a bunch of just random gases all over my map. Uh, Y'all going to go ahead and pick this stuff up, please? You know what? I should probably even pick up the obsidian and stuff here. I should just pick up everything. I don't want anything sitting on the ground in here. I don't think it'll matter, but just to be clean and safe. Make sure there's no other random... No random crap in here. You just found out who gifted a sub to me. You must have slept when you had a stream going. Please give Ramsey some love. Absolutely. I'll try to remember. Hey, well, what's up, a bale of turtles? I, I usually... When I get gifted subs, I do thank them at the time, so... Ramsey, I'm sure, has been thanked, but uh, if I remember, I'll say it again. Safe. Pff, who needs safety? That's right. That's the uh, that's the Rand version of doing things. Who needs to be safe? All right. Pick up this stuff, please. Pick up this stuff. Oh, this is um, 106 grams, kilograms. Yeah, it's a little bit. Let's let them pick that stuff up. Priority nine. Please, please, please. Uh, life's fun. Life's more fun with a little risk. That's right. Wanted to ask, how do you treat the cooled magma, which will turn into natural tiles? Um, well, this build takes that into account. So if you watch, here, I'll even link the video I'm using. For those who are interested in the mechanics of this, it is one of, uh, Francis John's amazing tutorials. Right there, it tells how this works. But basically, the lava that comes in gets shunted out into an igneous rock it doesn't actually become a tile like this it becomes an actual rock that then falls down here and heats it and so you just have a build off of igneous rocks that are really hot down here and it doesn't uh become an issue i believe hey green tea <laughs> life's fun with more fun with some risk and you jump out of a plane beautiful <laughs> Uh, actually, hold on. Let's deconstruct these two first so that they don't... Hopefully don't put random stuff right there. I don't think they'll do that, but just to make sure. I mean, yeah, this this little 20-minute tutorial that Francis John has done, which he's done a bunch of those tutorials, which I've used... I've watched almost all of them and used basically all of them for a build at some point. You're so stupid. Yes, build the one that makes it so you can't build the other one. I hope you jump with a shoot. Otherwise, what's the risk? Yeah, there's no risk. It's a guarantee. You're dead. <laughs> mean like Oni, but they're, these builds are far too complex for me, so you can't be bothered and just let Rand figure it out. There you go. Alrighty, so now we can start letting the... Um, oh, I actually disconnected the wrong thing here. So we want that there. So now we want the... Salt water. 
start flowing down. Am I crazy? That should work, right? Why is this not going down? Should be a T-junction where it supplies water, right? Geothermal power with desalinator? Uh, no, I'm not using desalinator for this. Um... Okay. I guess we'll take a break from this. If I do this, that'll force it to go down, right? There we go. Now if I do this, hopefully it'll split it in two. No, what are you doing? Maybe if I do this. There it goes. Okay. I think because this green out there, that's kind of screwed it up. Okay. So basically, I wanted there to be about 133 kilograms per tile here. Um, and let me pick up this stuff while we're waiting here. Pick up all that random stuff because this is going to be lava. So I don't want that just sitting in the lava. I actually have random stuff sitting on the ground in there. I don't think that'll matter. You meant the geothermal as desalinator. I still don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. Okay, so 133 kilograms that we're looking for. Uh, put a bridge in there for flow direction control. Now nah, we got it. It was it was this the connection of the output from the steam turbine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. There's a risk with the chute. If you don't pack, pack it properly, it may as well be an anvil. <laughs> okay. So we're looking to hit about 100 kilograms all across here. Okay, I'm going to do another save as we're getting this done. Got a regular tile in that room where you need a vacuum. Is that not a problem? A little triggering? Where? This? I'm going to be... I'm going to deconstruct all of this. Yes, I know. I know that's... De but that's getting de deconstructed. Okay, we're about good here. I think. Let's cancel this for a second. Yeah, that's... This is where the lava is going to come out. So that'll get deconstructed. No, don't have to worry about that. Okay, how much we got here? 115 kilograms. Okay. So one in 133. But when I pour in the clean water on top, this should get us the rest of what we need, I believe. So this is going to be clean water. Copy settings across here. Okay. I'm probably, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and deconstruct these steam turbines because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need them out of the way for all this stuff. All this stuff. Prince John using his latest colony, a similar build to desalinate water, which is why you asked. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I mean, I've, I'm desalinating water for other stuff, but not for this build. This is just for power. I just want a bunch of power. <sighs> Crap. Can you, guys, can you guys reach that? Yes, you can. Okay, good. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, so much for there not being stuff down here, and there's just going to be stuff down here, I guess. Ooh, wow. Did that immediately do what I needed it to do? That, I think, is done. Disable, deconstruct. I think that is good, right? Holy crap. I'm going to let that go. Disable deconstruct. Holy crap, that was instantaneously do, did what we needed to do. I need to do salt water plus clean water more often. Holy crap, that worked amazingly. It's perfect. That is done. Okay. They picked that stuff up. We blocked this off, and we are just about ready to go, man. Love it. Still vacuum in there. Perfect. It's a very similar build and pretty easy converted from simply power generator, desalinator plus power generator. What is, I'm not sure what the desalination's doing. Why does he need to desalinate water? What is he, what is he desalinating for? Okay, nice, pick that up. Do that, power, 
steam turbines. I think I turned these around like... Uh, God, I, my piping was all set a certain way. So let me look at his build so I can make sure I get it orientated the correct way. Okay, so I did it backwards. So I did it like that. Uh, two spaces. So it was like that, that, that. That should be right. Okay. Salt water to water without external power. Oh, okay, so it was a self-contained type of build thing, huh? Drips in salt water in the steam room and runs the output of the turbines to a holding tank. Two salt water vents and desal name for two Rodriguez, one for the O2, one for space program. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, that should be... Just about good. I think we're about to ready to turn this thing on. I need the temperature gauge on these, uh, the temperature readings. So let me remember the temperatures we want on these. So basically what's going to happen is we want this to be a certain temperature to allow this to open. We want, oh, what are the temperatures on here? Um, I think it was something like one, if it's below you know, if it's above one, I think it's like 180 here. And like 180 here, something like that. Want the left one to be around four. Oh, okay, 400 C. And inside over 125. I actually want it higher because in order to run these things at full steam, <laughs> uh, you, want, you want the temperature to be higher. Um, so 400 C for that one. I'll start it at 180 and we can like adjust that down as we need it. Is that oil in the bottom water pool? Yes, it's oil mixed in there. Okay, so I think that's good. Okay, just inside how much magma you can produce, okay. Um, okay, so plumbing. Uh, pipes, I need to reconnect these guys. So that will be to there. And that will be to there. And then, oh, I need this temperature. Um, so we want this temperature to stay, what, if it's like above zero or something? <laughs> Send a green signal if it's above zero. So that the water, uh, wait, I don't have anything in my cooling loop. Crap. Okay, I need to put polluted water in my cooling loop. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, I haven't filled the loop, so that's the last thing I need to do. If I can fill polluted water into the cooling loop, then we are good to go, which... Yeah, I can maybe use this. I got these all these random pipes to fill fill stuff in. Okay. Um, so I can use this pipe if I bridge it over into here. So plumbing bridge. And if you want water, water more water below metals than choose Oceana. Okay. Um, and am I going to use a uh, overflow tank in this? I think I'm not going to. I don't think I need to. I haven't been needing those, I feel like, lately. Okay, so now I need to connect this to clean water. I mean, to polluted water. I want to clean, to clean out this pipe. Uh, I need over, overflow tanks only in big loops. Yeah, it's a pretty small loop, so that shouldn't be an issue. And so this polluted water here, yes, I can connect this over. So if I do like a, just all these random pipes I'm creating to do stuff. Let this finish doing its thing. Maybe one day I'll clean up all these pipes. <laughs> maybe, maybe, probably not. How's my sleet wheat farm? It's doing its thing, although I think, um, oh, actually, it wasn't uh, it wasn't getting fertilized for a while, but apparently we're creating fertilizer for these guys. So it's looking like it's doing a pretty good job. I'm not using it yet. After I finish this, actually, my next goal of the day is to work on the pinch of pepper fruit farm so that we can have the pepper bread, I think is what we were working on. I think that was the goal today uh, for the next for the next food thing I wanted to work on. Plug that guy back in. Okay. So we connect that. So that will fill in that loop. 
and it's all set up, right? I think this is all set up correctly, hopefully. Flows around that way. Okay. So now we need polluted water and we need a, a decent amount of it. So what we're going to do is this. And we're going to plug in... I have this set up. Yeah, that always goes the wrong direction. So, like this. I don't want this to stop too... I don't want to do this too long because... Um... This is my this is my spalms water generation. So let me let me fill this pipe up before I. Oh god damn it! Stupid game. What are you doing? I didn't click that. Freaking lag. Fill this pipe up. There. There. Thank goodness for um. What you call it? By the way. Okay. Uh, why the hell is that pipe disconnected? Okay. There. Cancel that. So that should start flowing down there. All right. Uh, you have a nice build, fully automated, if I want to use it. For what? For a pinch of pepper fruit? No, I want to I wanna come up with my own build. I feel like that one... I'm hoping pinch of pepper fruit won't be harder than a crazy magma volcano power steam turbine setup that I would be able to figure it out. I mean, I was able to get the um, um, Sleet Wheat Farm done pretty well by myself, so. Okay. Keep an eye on this. Because I don't want to overfill this loop. I think heating up is easier to part than cooling down. No. Um... What are you talking about? For pinch of peppers or what? Do you heat up pinch of peppers? How's this thing doing down here? Carbon dioxide spreading out a little bit, but I think this is fine. I think somebody said I need to put something else in here. Oh yeah, I need to put uh, my... Uh, molecular forges in here somewhere, so I'm probably going to have to knock out some of these floors. I think that won't be too big of an issue. Okay... So that thing is on. Beautiful. Once this is just about to hit this loop, I'm going to disconnect it. There. Well, I mean, I guess... This thing is supposed to keep it from overfilling, right? That's kind of what the that thing does. Okay. Let's go with that. That should be enough. There. I just want this to keep flowing. Beautiful. So that'll do its thing. Uh, let, me, let me fix my connections over here. Insulated pipe there. So now it should all flow back there. Okay. So that's good. So now I should be good to go. Okay. So let's save it and let's open up this wall and let the lava come in and see if this thing does what it's supposed to do. All right, let's save. Uh, biggest problem would be with these types of builds for me is to figure out the formulas, like how much input you need for step one and going to step two. Yeah, it's it's pretty complicated, Wambambola. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All righty, so the way I wanted to do this was I wanted to... Deconstruct this, this, and this. I think it's, so it flows down and across. Is that right? It needs to be hit... 10 spaces here. So actually, that's not right. I think it's going to be here. So it flows over and down. So I don't think I need to get rid of that one. Although, I think I do need to get rid of that one for it to for them to reach that. We'll see. We'll see if they need to reach that. Oh! Oh! They just went into the lava to do that. Okay, that's not the way I would recommend it, but okay. Alright, let's see. <laughs> here it goes. Okay. Um, so this is heating up. Hold on a second. Am I missing something here? Yeah. <laughs> That's not the way I would have chosen to go. But, uh, okay. So it's heating up this door. Am I missing something? 
Uh, what's the automation for this door to open? Change that temperature sensor, the left one. Uh, to what? Oh, I just need to, do I do below to open? And I need, okay. Oh yeah, you can't see it. Okay, well, I, I turned it to green. Um, I think I need to open this a little bit to let some in first. How do I get this guy to turn on real quick? Um, the door is supposed to let the lava into the mesh tile. Yes, that's what it's supposed to do, but not for too long. I don't know how to initially activate this thing. I'm missing a wire between the buffer and the filter. Now there's a wire there. It's right there. Did I put it in the wrong place? Uh, let me see here. I thought I did it right. 925 for automation reference. Let me look at the automation thing here. So from the door to there, which goes to there, which goes to there. I think that's right, but I needed this to send a green signal first. Um, I don't know how to initiate this thing. I think I need to send, I think I need to send an initial green signal just to get it started. Um, what if I did, okay. That, that opens it and then I disconnect it. There, I think that jump starts the system there. Okay, did that work? Okay, it's not flowing there though. Thermal sensor now needs to be above. Okay. So what that should have done is push something in here to make this start heating up. Liquid iron, something just melted. Something melt there. Needs to be a memory toggle. W instead of what? Oh, is that an AND gate and it's supposed to... I thought it was an AND gate. Is that supposed to be a memory toggle? Holy crap. Wait. Which one is the... You're right. These look exactly the same. Okay, let me... Let me... Am I broken or if I just replace that, will that work? Uh, oh, is the power wire. Okay. Okay, let me load. Let me load. <laughs> let me load before I open this up. Because uh, I didn't realize that power wire was just going to melt there. You don't know how to use memory toggles? Me neither. That's why I'm copying Francis John's build. Yep, that's why I saved. That's why I saved. Because I knew probably I would do something wrong. Okay, I thought that was an AND gate, but it's a memory toggle because, again, automation is still confusing to me. And AND gates and memory toggles, I think, are the exact same shape. So, you're AFK, all right, FR or D dot. Okay, thanks for telling me you're all going AFK. Very useful. <laughs> uh, you're only just starting to get your head around memory toggles. Yeah, I'm finally getting my head around how... Uh, pipe bridges work myself so um, and I kind of have a feel for and gates but uh, apparently I messed up for the memory toggle you mostly mix up the and and the or gate but your your pants at programming <laughs> me too I'm also pants at it don't, don't exactly know what it means to be pants at something but hey what's up runs from robots how are you doing all right so I need to swap those power lines into being a steel power line so it doesn't become liquefied um, uh, iron and then I need to um, change that and gate into a memory toggle you're not FK just working great thanks for telling me <laughs> on your petroleum boilers you have been using X or gates and filters uh, what's an X or gate I don't think I've used that one yet. 
Okay, I probably should have gone back to main menu and then loaded. I think it's much faster to do it that way. It's either or. Ah, okay, okay. Well, if we get this working, it's going to be a GG cookie time. Because I think, I think if I change these two things, I think this, I think this actually works. I think. Either or, so it has to be exactly one input green to output green. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. Okay. Alrighty, so those automation wires are steel, so that's fine. It was this power wire, I think, that was uh, messed up. So I need... I think I need to deconstruct this to actually get to those. Deconstruct that. And then deconstruct this AND gate. I think I can reach both of those, right? If I reach it from here, I should put the steel on the ground here, I believe. It's exclusive or IE one or the other, but not both, right? Gotcha. And wire, steel. I'm going to do both these wires out of steel. So I'm going to have to deconstruct that to reach those two. So deconstruct those two. Okay. Deconstruct an errand. I think they can reach across here to get that, if I'm not mistaken. So power, wire, steel. There. You've been lurking for a while, but now you shall take your leave. All right, ten penny candy. Have a great rest of your day, my friend. Okay. Can it reach this? Errands. Unreachable. Okay. So. Okay, I think I have to do it by doing this. Because if I do it from the outside, it's going to mess up my vacuum in here. So I got to I gotta just go down here. It's fine. Now that should be an unreachable. Beautiful. Okay. So we want a memory toggle. And if I remember correctly, God, I hope this is right. Is it like that? Now I need to look at this thing again. Um, the timer thing needs to be connected to this guy. So it needs to be like this. I believe. Oh, gosh. So the timer, the one with the little circle thing on it needs to be connected to this guy here. So it needs to be like that. And then I need the thermo sensor connected to the other thing. Okay, this is this layout I have. I don't think works for this. Um, I'm going to have to swap this around here. Is it steel? Uh, no, let me make sure it's steel. Thank you. What if I do it like this? If I do it like this... Um, actually, how, if I did it like this, I could have this guy go over to there, this one go over that one. No, that won't work either. It needs to be right here. It needs to be in this little slot. So I think it needs to be like this, and then I need to figure out a way to... Okay, I think we could do that. We go over and across to that, and then this goes over to those guys. It's a little funky. Uh, wait, so this door needs to connect to this one? Oh, no, it's the output. God, I don't know what these little symbols are. My God, these little symbols are confusing to me. So it needs to be... That's correct there. This black one needs to be connected to the door. And then the door. Uh, the black one to the door. That's going to be the door. And then that one also plugs into that one. So that's right. So the only other thing I need is I need this connected to that. Right? So. Uh, pfft. How do I reach that? They got to go just around to do that. It's a little funky. 
With the reset at the top left, it may be the easiest. I think I just go like this. It's kind of dumb, but I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Like that. Need to bridge over the output. Now, I think this works, right? I think that works. Otherwise, I don't want a bunch of these other lines in here. Um, if I can deconstruct that guy, there'll be one extra little automation wire that does nothing there that I can't reach. It's fine. Bridge needs to be steel. Thank you. Automation bridge, steel, good catch. Okay. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, that should work. Um, although this door, what is this door supposed to be connected to? Um, is this supposed to go to this line? I forget what this door is connected to. Yes, I think this has to connect here. Is that right? Damn, this is the wrong. There's the automation thing on another screen. Where's the automation thing? Uh, such a complicated build. You were looking forward to Kenchi today? No, I'm not playing Kenchi today. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I probably can't play Kenchi on Fridays and Sundays, maybe. <laughs> um, is that correct? What was this connected to? This is... This opens when this opens on a toggle. I think that's right. Okay. That looks good to you? Okay. Sorry, people keep asking me, play other games, play other games. No, no. I basically have been playing this game every uh, every day on Tuesdays and Wednesdays for the last two months. <laughs> oh, God. But probably Friday I'll play Kenshi and probably Sundays. Okay. Okay, so let me pick up that steel. I don't want it to be sitting on the ground in here. Uh, and there's granite. Why is there granite sitting on the ground here? Is that going to be an issue? You know, I'm gonna. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Play action not included. God, <laughs> thanks, Gunker. Okay, let me pick this stuff up. That stuff's not in the way. Okay, get that granite out of there. Door opens. No thermal conduction while lava flows in. So good. Okay. All right. So now we're doing steel mesh tiles here. And then we'll do one there, and then we'll be just about ready to go again, I think. Play whatever you damn well feel like it. I will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I actually played some Kenshi off stream last night. I am still very much interested in playing more Kenshi. Um, but I have lots of games that I'm enjoying playing, so I will... Can't guarantee when I'll play when, uh, when, the, the, when I'll play which game. But I've been pretty consistent, I feel like, about what I've been playing when. My my schedule's just not updated on my stream titles, so I probably should up I should probably fix that. Okay, so Okay. Okay, hopefully this automation's right. <laughs> that just looks like a big old ball of mess, right? But uh so this needs to be if it's below four hundred sending a green signal. Okay, is that what it's supposed to do? <laughs> All right, let me save the game. Are we sure that the timer's right on that? I feel like that's too fast. It's looking good. It's supposed to munch, munch, munch like that. Did I save it? I don't even know if it's saved. From what you have heard, you can use automated doors to crush tiles that are formed by solidifying magma. Okay. Um... The buffer, uh, buffer is at 1, the filter is at 0.5. Pretty sure that's what somebody said earlier. All right, we saved it. Let's, uh, let's open this thing up. So, what was it, right here? Yeah, so we, X, X, X. Oh, yeah, and they're going to do it from the lava and kill themselves. Building entombment. How the hell did sand get there? Random, okay. Standard circuit spaghetti. If it's orderly, it won't work. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear it. All right, let's watch them go in here and burn themselves to death. 
Scalding. Oh, I'm in lava. Why did I do this? This was a horrible choice. <laughs> uh, whoops. Uh, ten. Yeah, so this one. Incoming broiled duplicants. A.K.A. duplicants. That's right. And I'm going to close this off. Once this is working, we're going to close that off. Uh, my pokes, they deposit sand. Oh, do they poop out sand? Maybe I didn't remember that. Okay. All righty, here we go. Should flow up to right here. Okay. Below. Is that letting in too much stuff? I mean, it's dumping in a bunch of stuff. Uh, well, we got steam in here. I don't remember it act, acting like this in Francis John's video, but maybe when it first starts up, it does act like that. Okay. Wow, it is just chomp, chomp, chomping up that stuff. Okay. Something melted by the thermo? Sensor, what melted? What melted? I don't see anything melted. Need to change the timers on the buffer and filter. Well, Green Tea told me these numbers, and I'm pretty sure they weren't right, but that's what Green Tea said. I'm pretty sure the buffer is like 10 seconds. There. I think, I think it should be something like that. New piece of metal. There's a piece of steel in there. I don't think that's going to matter. There's a couple of random things I left in there. I don't think that's going to matter. Okay, I think I think that's good, actually. I think that's right. It looks funky, but I think that's right. The section of the video only done 10 seconds to demonstrate the function of the logic gates. But yeah, but if it opened and closing like that, I, I don't think it's needed. Like... Our temperature's raising in here. We're getting steam power. I mean, this is looking right, honestly. Um, temperature on here, 266. So what should happen is that until it hits 400 degrees, this will con constantly let stuff in. Once it's 400 degrees, it'll stop letting stuff in so consistently. And we're getting heat transferred over. And this door um, stays closed until it's over 100 degrees in here. So we want these guys. Wow, we're, we're generating some power now. Because what is what is the steam turbine's heat that it wants to be at? Is it 180 that it wants the steam to be? What is, is like 170 is maximum? What's the, what's the maximum? It's... 197 is that okay i'm getting a bunch of different numbers in chat no i know that it doesn't become steam until it's over 100 c but what does steam turbine want the temperature of steam to be at to maximize optimal temperature is 197 so let's do if it's um if it gets above 197 it'll send a red signal so that should give us maximum thing there Question is, will it reach 400 with a 10 second delay, I guess? What's the target temperature for the steam? Yeah, 197 for the steam over here. Is that what I want this steam to be at? No, because it's got a chance for the heat. I think this will work. My magma plate is wasting magma now. There should be one tile high blade. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think you know what? I think I need I think I need an insulated tile there for that to be right. I think I messed that up. I shouldn't have opened that one up. So if I do that, that'll eventually fix itself, I think. Quick question. Wouldn't it be more efficient to have the boiler room three tiles high with a layer of petroleum? Boiler room. Um this room, maybe. 
Um, I saw, I watched a couple different videos. This was the one from the Francis John build. And I saw another one that uses, um, that uses geothermal power. Just uses this that is three high. I, I don't know which is the most efficient. Okay, eventually this should, this should even out, right? Where it uses this up. Hopefully that will be right. Um, but this is my first time to do this build. So if I don't maximize efficiency, that's fine. If it works, I will be happy. Um, how are we doing on... Why is this not flowing? Why is my cooling loop not flowing? I feel like it's because I have too much water in here. This is supposed to be flowing and it's not flowing. Um, fine. If I do this, uh, if I just plumb out some blocks of water, that'll fix it. Okay, let me do that. Let me plumb out one that's hot. So let me do that. I was actually trying to specifically avoid that before, but this should be fine. The cur current build has temperature lots there. Yeah, I don't know what that sentence means. FRD dot. Okay. We definitely need this thing to be flowing. There we go. Okay. That'll do it. All right. That'll let it flow. That'll cool it down. Current build has temperature lost. Oh, you're saying we're losing temperature somehow. Cooling line may be flowing through the turbine on the right. No, no. It was, it was just... It's not. It's fine. It just it did it had too much water in it. Okay, 147 degrees, 150. So 198 degrees. Um So I guess the question is you say I have some temperature lost. I feel like it's sending lava too often. Am I crazy in that it's sending it too often? Decrease the delay by five seconds, you think? Because this temperature 198 is good, I think. We're not quite getting as much heat in here as I was hoping. Is the thermo sensor configured correctly? I have this one set to below 400, and I have this one set to above 197. Is there atmosphere here? Yeah, there's there's um, steam in here. There's steam in here. It started off with a full tile of water. Yeah, there's steam in there. Um. So sending a green signal. So this won't send a red signal until this gets much hotter. How does this get much hotter? I don't know. My filter gate set at 0.5 seconds. My buffer's at 5. Um, show automation layout. Okay. This is what it's doing right here. Is that right? Is this door supposed to be connected to something else, maybe? You think it just needs to come up to temperature? Well, that's my thing, is why isn't it coming up to temperature faster? The only other thing you think of is maybe it needs diamond temp shift for better heat transfer. Well, that's true. I didn't use all full diamond shift plates over here. But I am using diamond here and here. I use diamond here. There's only these ones that I did granite because I just don't have that much diamond. I think I might actually have more diamond down. I do have a little more diamond down here if I wanted to do that. Then I have to get into this room and create a liquid lock and all that. Um, the, my question is... Why is this not getting hotter? I feel like this should be getting hotter. 
Show again the automation layout. Okay. So we got the memory gate, memory toggle, filter gate, buffer gate. Are you connecting the lower airlock to the thermo sensor instead of the timer? Lower airlock to the thermo sensor. Is that maybe what this was a bit, is originally going to be? Uh, thing is that Francis John's builds, like he did it a bunch of different times and showed the automation being a couple different ways. Which is confusing to me. So I'm not sure if I did it incorrectly. Um, you know what I also have is I have his save file. All right, uh, hold on a second. Let me save. Let me look at. I actually have that save file. I'm gonna actually log over to that and look at it. Yeah, I think I think there's something with the toggle wrong. So let me go. Let me go back to main menu. I actually I specifically downloaded it so I could check it when we were doing this thing. This is a more complicated. Um, automation build than I've done in a long time or ever maybe so I had a I had a feeling that I might screw it up so let, let's just look at it let's look at what he has I hope this doesn't take a year to load I'm just going back to the main menu here unless you have flip anything and flip your turbine huh okay no I, I basically flipped everything from the way it was in the uh, in the build that he showed so we can look at it here Man, maybe I should just exit the game. Apparently, if I just leave this thing... Is it faster to just exit the game? Because this seems stupidly long every time I try to just even go back to main menu. I don't want to know why this takes so long. I wonder if it's faster to leave the game than to actually do this. Just even go back to main menu it takes a year, it seems like. Okay. Okay. If I can get this memory thing done, then I will take our first break. We'll GG cookie time it and get our take our first break. As it takes goddamn 10 minutes to freaking load, man. Really? It takes this long to load the goddamn menu screen. I feel like auction not included is not optimized very well. Okay. This. Temperature sensor to toggle set. Temperature sensor to toggle set, then toggle output to door to buffer filter to. to yeah, I don't, I don't understand that sentence. All right, we're gonna look at this. This is this is this is the build I'm copying that we kind of turned around backwards. So let's look at what we got. We got a memory toggle. Goes to this door and this door. Temperature is at below 180, and this is above 180. So that's slightly different. This filter gate is set to one second. Buffer gate is set to 10 seconds. So it's not one in 0.5 like you were saying, Green Tea. This is 10 and one. Uh, so 10 and one second. Let me let this thing run. Because it's only letting stuff in occasionally. I guess that's because it's at the heat already. Yeah, just stop it. Uh, so my toggle's in the wrong rotation. So this is the filter gate going to the reset port. Thermo sensor going to the memory toggle. Which one is this? I don't know the different pieces here. So 10-1, above 180, below 180 for settings. If the steam turbine was outputting to his cooling loop, there would be fresh water... Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing the cooling loop that way. I'm doing it like he has it like this. This is basically the same way he's doing it on that. So I have the wrong things plugged in. Memory toggle set port. Okay, so set port set port is going to the thermo sensor. Set port going to thermo sensor. Memory output is going to both doors. So memory output both doors. Memory set port going to the thermo sensor. Okay. I'm going to exit game. Change my screen while I do this. Quit the desktop. And let's try to... Let's try to... 
Oh, great. And it's now doing an update for <laughs> auction not included. Okay. Okay, let's hope this actually loads quicker doing it this way. So the set, the memory toggle was to the two doors. The set port was to the thermo sensor. So I might have had those in the wrong places. Maybe I had those in the wrong places. Let's see. Memory output to door, set port to thermo sensor. Just typing it for my reference. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And it was 10 seconds on the buffer and one second on the toggle. Seems to be faster to Alt F4 than load. Well, I just exited the game. I, hopefully this will be similar. But it always takes me a bit to load in, load into my game. Really? You think it's just it's better to Alt F4 completely than to even just press the exit button? Yikes. Okay. All right, let's look at our automation here. So this is supposed to go to the set port. That's actually right. So that's the set port. Um, the memory toggle is to the doors. So that is right. Um, and then the reset is from this. So I think the only thing we had wrong was the numbers. So filter was one. Buffer gate was 10. Um, but, well, the other thing I didn't have right was the uh, temperature. So it was... Um, who topped it out? Above 100 and below 180. So this one should be below 180. And this one's supposed to be above 180. Okay. Okay. We have a bunch of lava sitting in here, though. So. Is that right? If it's above 180, or was it the other way around? I think that was right. Okay. I feel like I just need to let this run now and see if it'll eventually fix itself. So, I'm going to GG cookie time. <laughs> um, we are getting steam power. Actually, we're not getting near as much temperature here now. Um, is this supposed to be the other way around? It's not dropping magma in there. What do I need to fix? Is it the fact that there's lava in here? Is that fixing? Is that messing it up? You know what? I need to take my first break. I'm going to save it. I'm going to let this run. Y'all can just watch this. and Maybe you can figure out what's happening. I'm just going to kind of let it run for now. Sometimes you just got to let it run. Let it ride. Ride. So, real quick, I'm going to send to Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all enjoying the auction not included. It's a pretty, comp pretty complicated build. And I think... I think maybe something might be slightly screwed up in there. But I'm going to AFK and use the restroom. When I come back, we'll see if we can get this thing... You know zeroed in. So see you in just a second, my friends.